Tata Steel, which employs 15,000 people in the UK steel industry, has today announced plans to sell its entire UK business. UKIP's employment spokesman, Jane Collins, says this comes as little surprise. I'm not surprised, but I'm terribly sad for all those people now who've worked in the steel industry for their whole lives and their jobs are under threat. Because the impact just isn't on the steelworks, it's on the local communities, the lorry drivers, it's the people that work in the cafes, that work in the pubs and the bars. The steel industry 20 years ago was thriving business. Um, the UK market is just shrinking. The demand for steel um, in the last few years has, um, has shrunk considerably. We're here today at Tyvek Alloys in Sheffield uh, at a critical time for the steel industry. We're looking at uh, Port Talbot uh, closing, we're looking at Tata withdrawing from the British steel industry and we've got to understand why that's happening. And the main reason that the steel industry is in crisis is the failings in Brussels in three areas. First of all, failure to put anti-dumping duties on Chinese steel. I think the major factors at the minute are the cheap steel coming out of China. Cheap steel coming over from China is having a detrimental effect on the steel industry. I'd like to see the government step in and basically either put an anti-dumping duty on the material coming out of China and to help these large companies because it's not just Tata, it's all the industries around here. Uh, the second thing is energy. Europe has amongst the most expensive energy prices in the world and we in Britain have made it worse by actually making our energy prices substantially more expensive. Energy prices are a lot higher in the UK. Tata Steel gave a clear warning to the government. They said that electricity prices were too high, nothing's been done to address this. The situation with, with the government with the high prices of energy, because we're chained to the EU's green agenda. Tata Steel um, they've took the technology and they've took it back aboard and they're opening new plants up. They've got cheaper electric costs, cheaper labour um, and we just can't compete anymore in this country. George Osborne has decided that the cost of CO2 emissions under the emissions trading scheme is not actually high enough so he's introduced something called the carbon floor price that makes British electricity even more expensive than on the continent. Environmentally, we have a lot of issues in this company uh, and China don't have the same restrictions as what we do. Uh, and the third thing is the issue of state aid. Uh, the government should be in a position at least to give temporary help to the steel industry, uh, to give them a breathing space for restructuring. Uh, it can't do that because of EU state aid rules. The European rules uh, impact massively on uh, production of steel. I think EU need to back us up with this. I think the EU definitely need to be on our side and to help with the situation. These are issues that could be addressed by the government, but it's failing to do so. It's not too late. It's not too late to do something about it. When we withdraw from the European Union, we will be able to stop the dumping of cheap Chinese steel. What we need to do critically here is we need to apply serious anti-dumping duties to Chinese steel. The Americans on some specialty steels uh, are up at 200 plus percent uh, while the European Union is fiddling around in single figures. The EU is supporting and facilitating unethical practices worldwide for their own agenda. Production of Chinese steel is unethical, produces an awful lot more pollution and furthermore to the raw materials of iron and coal, iron ore and coal, are mined often in countries that use child labour. The European Commission has a plan to reduce steel capacity in Europe and Sheffield is being sacrificed. I think there is a very serious danger that if the government doesn't get its act together and do some of these things, and if we remain in the European Union, then we could indeed lose steel making in Britain. There are three clear things we could get on with if we were not in the European Union. That's why we must vote to leave on June the 23rd.